So now today we will talk about the dialogues and fragments that is a step 16 of the SAP UI 5 official documents. So first of all you may think that what is fragments. So you are maybe familiar with the dialogues but may not the fragments. So it, this concept should be clear. So what is the simple term is that or simple answer is that whenever you show the pop-up with the, some information then actually you need to show through the fragments um, for example like um, there is a list of records and you want to show the when the user click on the specific records then on pop-up will come with some information so in that case you have to use the dialogues and these dialogues you have to create a fragments so if i go to the official documents you can see that is is written that fragments are lighter of ui parts which can be reused but do not have any controller so you can see that uh, view has the controller for the logical purpose but the fragment don't have that cons uh, controller and um, that means that whenever you want to define a certain part of your UI to be reusable across multiple views, then you can use that. Okay, so let's start with that so that it will be uh, more clear. So first of all, I will create a button on that um, on that hello panel. So currently there is a on button, it just say hi. So in on top of that, I will create another button. And when I press on the button, it will on pop-up will show. And then you can understand that how this pop-up is aligned with the fragments. So let's start. First I'm creating a button using the button, then the text. This text will come from the i13 properties. You already know i13 properties. If you don't know, then you have to check the i13 translator sections of the video. Um, and it should be open dialog button text. And another is the press. When the user press, then it will call the dialog on open dialog. And like before adding another properties, let me run so that you can actually understand. So here, let me, I didn't close this. So now you can see the on button is coming, although I didn't define the press function, but there is no gap between these two button. So for that purpose, um, we will use the SAP standard class to add a margin. So here, class, then SAP UI, small margin int uh, so if i use that you can see that there is a margin and in the if you use if you call the next button class custom button and also okay it's already another classes so it's not a good idea so I can just use only this so basically that is, that is the button and uh, open dialog button um, this will come from the i tire so let's um, fix this so this button open dialog box text so I'm copying this and if I go to the i tire properties I can put 
this and um, say hello with dialog so now we will say that it will change say hello with dialogs so this is done so components manifest style hello panel so now the hello panel is done because we have just created a button and now we have to create a fragment so where we will create we will put on inside the view so here we have to use the hello dialog dot fragment dot xml that is also the xml type and here we have to define dialog core that is called fragment definitions definition so fragment d e f i n i t i o n is look good so now we have to use that library so that is x m l n s SAP dot M then um XML, XML NS then it should be core so there is no error so it's look good with that fragment so here we have to use that dialog tag because now you can see that first i have create the fragment and we have create the dialog inside inside the fragments so dialog and id is hello hello dialog then title it's hello then it will come from the uh, it will come from uh, if I go to the app view uh, hello I just wanted to that recipient name so there is the hello okay i'm just copying this because that is the same as here so here i can just put because it will come data from the model so now this part is done so now we have to go to the controller so now we are in the hello panel controller and here we have to call because um, this fragment is there that's fine and so we don't need to call again earlier it was not defined but if it is not defined then you can just define like this way it will be like this so here it is sap dot ui dot core then fragment and you can see that it will automatically appear here so now we have to define the function but let's check that on when i press the button what it will call so it will call this function so we have to create this function so 
here function okay so now we have to create dialog that is We'll create dialog easily. So if if dialog is there, that it will create. Otherwise, if it is not there, that it will create. Otherwise, it will not do anything. P dialog here. This dot p dialog this not load fragment so when the button click it will load the fragment we can close this here okay so that is the on show here is also on so so actually our button actually on open dialog I'm sorry for that it have to this so now load fragments what it will load it will load name so we have to select the path from where it will load so now here then it is under the view folder then hello dialog and it should be position is good so now actually so this part is done and that is so basically we have to use this dot p dialog dot then it is all about related to the if here again then function that is o dialog here I need to close this and here we have to put o dialog dot open so it's all good so now everything is fine let's try with that so refresh so now you can see that it is showing the pop-up and also it is showing what is written here so hello if I say hi UI5 is a hello UI5 so basically that is the way you can um, use the fragment and dialogue so let's continue with the step 17 the fragment callbacks that is from that SAP UI official documents or through thank you so much